Welcome to Inside the Studio, KFIZ at 100. Conversations with some of the station's biggest and brightest all-time personalities. I'm your host, former KFIZ program director, Sean Kaiser. This episode looks at the life and career of former KFIZ owner and pioneering entrepreneur, Don Jones. He grew up in Springfield, Illinois, became a radio apprentice at the age of 18, and quickly fell in love with the business. Radio is an opportunity for self-expression. I think those of us who choose broadcasting as a career feel very confident about sharing ourselves and our ideas and our feelings, carrying on a conversation with the radio audience. In 1970, Don bought both KFIZ Radio and KFIZ TV and was quick to make several changes which greatly benefited the station. It was the business practice of the radio station to not broadcast advertising on Sundays. It was also the policy of KFIZ ownership prior to us to not accept any advertising from outside the city limits of Fond du Lac, all in the uh, intent of protecting the local merchants. The idea, for example, of having commercials from Oshkosh, uh, Rosendale, Wilmyra, Campbellsport. So we uh, changed that and uh, it contributed to the commercial success of KFIZ. Don fondly remembers working with legends like Joe Gazer, Ron Harvey, Doug McGrath, and Max Showalter, people he says serve the community well. We always felt that the radio station was a very important citizen of the community and had the opportunity, if it chose to do so, to be a leader in public affairs and community activities. And I'm very proud of the fact that we lived up to that ideal, and KFIZ has been extraordinarily important to the life and community involvement and leadership for the city of Fond du Lac and the surrounding area. In the 1980s, Don dove into a different venture, which brought a new form of entertainment and information to Fond du Lac area residents, cable television. We grew from no cable TV subscribers to 500,000 cable TV subscribers over a period of 20 years. It gave us the opportunity to bring our radio experience of community involvement and the use of satellite television was unheard of, and that was a whole new experience for television viewers. Don is also credited with creating the word cable vision to describe the service. And we thought that for public acceptance of the concept, a new term or a new marketing approach was necessary. It was uh, subsequently entered in the dictionary, and as you go around the world, there were many companies that adopted the name Cablevision, and that word started in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. In 1995, Don decided to solely focus on his cable business and sold KFIZ to Randy Hopper. To end our conversation, Don Jones borrowed a line from the late, great Joe Gazer. Well, I want to sign off by using Joe Gazer's slogan. It's a beautiful day, 365 days a year. Some days we'd look out our window and question whether that was true or not, but Joe always made us feel it's a beautiful day. Thanks for joining us, and keep listening for more episodes of Inside the Studio, KFIZ at 100.